What's up guys, Chris here for GQ37. I've got my second gen uh, FX QX here. This is my 2017 QX70. And I'm gonna upgrade the interior lighting to LEDs today. This is something I've done on pretty much all my vehicles since my G35, 350Z days. Uh, I've just never done a video on it because uh, it's so simple I figured everybody can do it. But there's probably somebody out there that may be a little intimidated pulling the panels down and not sure how involved it is or even what bulbs to get. So I'm gonna put links in the description for everything that I'm using uh, today and uh, first thing I want to clarify this goes for both first and second gens however they are different bulbs so I wanted to go ahead and differentiate uh, with that so with the first gen FX's you're going to be using these festoon uh, style bulbs and uh, they are more of a cylinder look and they're going to be all throughout the interior uh, of your vehicle whereas the second gens are going to utilize more of these uh, T10 style bulbs all right so the difference, you know, you can see here uh, the regular bulb that you're going to take out and then the LED. Now, I'm going to put links in the description for these. There's expensive LED bulbs and there's really cheap ones. And then there's some that are kind of in between that I think are the best bang for the buck because a lot of the cheap ones, they're going to start flickering. Some of the LEDs on the uh, little board aren't going to necessarily work. Uh, whereas these, uh, I like to use, are really bright. You get about 10 of them in a pack for 15, 16 bucks. And some of the places will sell uh, these for like two of them for 15. So this is a good bang for your buck. They work for the tag lights. They work for a lot of different things. And, uh, and then for the first gens, uh, these are going to work for the, the interior of the bulb. Uh, and then for the second gens, you're still going to use these for two of them. So I'm going to show you all that right now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm not going to show every single one of these. They all work the same. Super simple. I'm going to use one of my plastic trim remover tools and uh, show you how this pops out. Um, I recommend these over a screwdriver and uh, they work really well. It's just going to pop out, but keep in mind uh, this bulb is going to be really hot, so you might want to use some gloves. All right, so I've got my other hand that's gloved for this bulb because, again, it is going to be uh, rather warm. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull that out and get one of my new bulbs and put it in there. As I mentioned, some of the cheaper ones that uh, you'll see, they have just one little wire sticking on one side to make contact so it matters which way you put it in. That's not the case with these. Uh, so I'm just gonna slide it back into that slot. And there we go. So it's 6000K like white LED. Um, so it's not like a bluish tint. You can get blue ones, but I like this color. It looks a little bit more OEM to me. So I'm just gonna do that to all the lights now and uh, put this cover back on. And that just snaps back in place. Um, you're just gonna push, push up on it on all four corners there. And there we go. Click on, click off. Of course, I have the door open, but uh, Again, I'm going to go ahead and pop off the other side, but you can see definitely the color difference. And I think it looks a lot better in here uh, with those LEDs. So, As far as the first gens go, it's exactly the same with taking the cover off except you're using the 31mm Festoon bulb. It does matter which way they go in, so if it doesn't work at first, just take it out and spin it around. There is a positive and negative side. They're just not labeled, so do keep that in mind. And then you just kind of turn that flat panel and angle it the way you want it and uh, put your cover back on. Uh, there we go. So that looks a lot better, just a comparison. There's the yellow OEM ones and there's that. So I'm going to go around the car and do all the other ones. Again, the footwell is the same thing, it's just underneath there, so it's going to be hard to show you, but there is a cover just like that. On the first gens, you have a light in the middle. Uh, on, the, on my second gen, my QX70, I don't. Um, I just have these side lights. Uh, you're just going to do the same thing. You're just going to pop it out, but pop it out from the light portion. Uh, you're going to uh, stick your flat edge in here, not on the plastic uh, surrounding like that, just on the actual light lens, and that will pop out. Now for the back cargo bay lighting, you've got a light here and then you've got one up here. And those are gonna pop out the same exact way. You just pop that in there. The difference, however, is that these have a screw um, holding the lens on. Uh, now I took mine off when I replaced these. I didn't, I, I, did, I took the screw out, I didn't put it back in, just so it's easier. The screw isn't necessary, the clip holds it. But just, if this is the first time that that light bulb has ever been replaced, there's probably gonna be a screw in there. All right, so the two lights here in the cargo area are the ones that are gonna have these festoon bulbs in them. And uh, 
this one does, and so does this one. Otherwise, the rest of the interior lights in the second gens will have these. The first gens are going to have, you're going to be replacing these uh, all throughout. Uh, so I uh, just wanted to FYI on that. So while we're at it, let's go ahead and change the LED uh, lights for the tag lights and the reverse lights. Now, I think it just looks a lot better on the outside. It makes it look a little sleeker at nighttime and more expensive. So uh, I like the LED lighting. The first gens, you just take out two screws on each side of this uh, to pull these out first gen, super easy. And then you'll swap them with those T10 LED style bulbs like I showed you. On the second gens like this, however, that is a lot more difficult uh, to come from this way because they have this plastic surround, there's a bunch of clips in here, and uh, it's just, uh, it's just more difficult than it needs to be to come that way. Excuse how dirty the vehicle is, it's, it's a rainy day. Um, anyway, so the easier way is to come from the back, the back door entrance of this, and it is super simple. It is just these four uh, plastic inserts and then uh, these two on the sides here. So I'm gonna show you that real quick. All right guys, now with this, you just push in the middle here and then pull out. You could either use uh, the pointed end of this, you could use a flathead screwdriver. I'll just show you how easy that is. You're literally just gonna poke that in. And then I use my finger now and pull it out. I haven't seen these uh, receivers or these little uh, plastic fasteners on any other vehicle, but it's really neat. I, I like the way they work. So uh, I don't mind those at all, pretty cool. And then the last one here. just that quick and then the and then this if you can see this one right here so I'm just going to come underneath like that and pull that one out all right and it's a two-piece so the other part may fall out because I'm doing this one-handed for you guys so there we go pull that out and that one's stuck together so that's how that looks all right and then it's just a matter of pulling this down um, this is a lot easier to access than the the uh, first gens work. Um, it's just plastic fasteners. There's nothing, nothing really to break there, so don't be too afraid of it. It's just pulling it down. Now, one thing to mention, I already took this light out, but you can go ahead and uh, pop this out too. Otherwise, you're gonna have to do it afterwards. So, squeeze and pull, and that's all there is to that. Plastic trim remover or screwdriver, pop those out and pull, like so. All right. All right, and now you have access to your tag lights. You're just going to twist and pull that out on both sides. You see I've already replaced it. And then your other one is right there. Super simple, much easier than coming uh, from the bottom on the second gens. Now, while you're back here, you might as well go ahead and replace your reverse lights. Now on the first gens, on the first gen FX's, you can use these for the reverse lights. Um, uh, to test it, because to make sure you put it in the right way, because again, it could not work the first time and you need to twist it around. Uh, I would just put the vehicle, after you put them in, in reverse, put the parking brake on and make sure they're lighting up. All right, because you don't want to replace these and then the reverse lights don't work. Now, on the second gens, however, you need, it's, it's a different uh, size bulb, it's a bigger one. All right, I already replaced them. The bulb, what it looks like, and here is the stock bulb that came out just for a size reference um, to show you what that looks like. I already replaced it with this LED uh, bulb I got off Amazon, and I'll put that in the link in the description as well. It comes in a two pack, and that's all you need for one for each side, and they do look really good as you can see. Uh, with the reverse lights, I just like, even though you only see them when you're reverse, but I just think it, it, it adds that classy, clean, uh, luxury look to it that a lot of the new vehicles already come with. So just wanted to show you that. Figure why you've got this panel off, you might as well replace these. Uh, so I've got links in the description so you can order all those and do this all at once uh, while you have this panel off. So hopefully that is helpful for you. All right, and putting it back on is just the reverse. Just pull your wires through and that's in. Now we're just gonna plug those fasteners back in. And to do that, you, know, you just pull the little middle insert out first, push that in, and then push that insert in. And you're just gonna do that for those four. All right guys, and lastly, I'm going to replace these with the little logo uh, lights that shine down on the floor. 
I had these in my G37 uh, as well. And though they only lasted about six months, they looked really cool during that six months. Hopefully they've gotten better and these will last a little longer. Time will tell. But I figure while I'm doing these, I'd go ahead and uh, replace these as well. Uh, plastic trim remover tool. I'm just going to pop this out like so. And then you're going to twist and pull the little wire harness. And you're literally going to just replace it with this one like so. And you've got light and we're just going to pop it back in there. That is how easy that is. And I'm going to do this for the other three doors now. All right, so here is the back door. Same exact premise here. Pop that out, squeeze and pull. Put the next one in, like so. And there we go. We've got light. So pop that back in there. That's how easy that is, guys. All right, guys, hopefully this was helpful to you. If so, please leave a like and a comment. And be sure to subscribe and turn those notifications on so uh, you get notified whenever I upload content like this. There will definitely be more videos soon as this is a blank canvas and uh, I can't help but to do a few things to it and I'll bring you guys along for the ride. So I'll see you then.